What's your name? Sebastian. Sebastian, yes. My name is about, uh, my question is about energies I'm experiencing for about two years now. And um, they are actually working in this dimension you mentioned where physically, emotionally, something, some, sometimes some knowledge comes. And my question is how can I guide them or balance them? because it can get quite intense and can bring you really out of balance. And I'm doing some mantra practice. And yeah, but it sometimes just gets too overwhelming. Is this, um, is this what you would call the Kundalini Shakti? Is it moving up the spinal cord and down? Yeah. When I began, I didn't know about it, but now I would call it Kundalini. Yeah. So, is it moving up and down the spinal cord? Do you feel that it's, movement? Yes. Do you feel a snake sort of a movement sometimes? Yeah, it's, yes. yeah, it's spiral or yes, wave. waves or yeah. that kind of movement. Yeah, sometimes it's shots. Just shots yes. Have you experienced it going out of the head? I have experienced expansion, yeah, and going like this. Mm -hmm. Have you had any pain? Yeah. Sometimes pain. I got ill from it. Yeah. Yes. So the thing, Sebastian, is that in most cases when the Kundalini Shakti is disturbed, what happens is, is that the, the, the body itself, or you, let's say yeah. you, are, have undertaken some practices it could be actually anything, it could be long hours of mantra chanting, long hours of meditation, it could be an extreme sexual experience, it could be an extreme alcohol experience, it could be substance usage. Any of these things when done in extremes can just disturb the Kundalini. Generally, when the Shakti starts to move then, there has to be the, and you will understand exactly what I'm speaking about, the chakras, the areas of consciousness connected with each area of your body, which you will quite surely also feel, yeah. do not permit this energy to flow easily. And the reason why they do not permit the energy to flow easily is because of a lack of surrender in each of these chakras. Mm. So, this is also why in the ancient practices where Ma was disturbed and made to rise by Kundalini, so-called Kundalini awakening, which is a wrong term because Ma, Kundalini Shakti, is awake already. She doesn't need anyone to wake her up. It is simply the idea that she's She's pushed into action to push through and then to give the cosmic experiences of dissolution of identity, which was why these practices were started out experimentally in the first place. Now the thing with, with let's say, someone like you is that the reason why you experience pain in the system or also this feeling that something is not okay or you want to quiet down something is because of the lack of surrender in the system. Surrender is a very material experience also. So, if you need to be able to calm this down and, and I've seen literally hundreds of such people and have been able to also quiet down the the Shakti, 
you would have to start on a process of real concrete surrender. What is your mother tongue? Is it German? German. So then you would think of it in terms of Hingabe, Demut, bending, 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 surrender, surrender. Every time the energy starts to flow and starts to become uncomfortable, it is because it's pushing against some part of your system which is not yielding, you know? So let's say now, is it quiet? It's quiet, it's kind of quiet now. It's moving but it's quiet. Quiet, yeah. So if, you know, it can also move down, can move up, right? Yeah. I can, for example, now I can actually feel electricity in my, my fingertips. And I feel it a lot with people where the Kundalini is disturbed in that sense. The way to quiet it down and even if you are in Germany, wherever you are in the world, if any time something happens where you, where you suddenly feel, ah, it's, it's really too much now, that's the moment, immediately bend down, bend down. You see, he has the same... He has the same... Uh, a shakti that has disturbed. So when he does that practice of Sashtanga Namaskar, it quiets down the shakti. Because basically it's a disturbed, you know. Yeah. And also what it does is it increases the general surrender in your system. Because the thing is that each of these layers of consciousness is impacted by the ego. And when there are practices undertaken that disturb the Shakti, but the ego has not been broken down, then you have this, this, this experience. In those moments, bend down, bend down, literally physically do that. Because once this is there, you cannot decide anything anymore. Yeah. Sebastian is just a name after that. Mm -hmm. It's stronger than the ego actually. But the ego tries to get control. Yes. And sometimes tries to block and so on and then... Then the pain starts. The more that ego starts to impose, the more the pain will be there. So it is important to understand that when you feel pain in the system, that means there is no surrender in that moment. And so immediately go into surrender. Also, if it really becomes extreme and you feel really helpless, try to remember this satsang. Try to remember you were sitting here and try to remember what I was telling you. Remember the voice, it'll calm down immediately. Because it's happened with many, many people, so I know that that, uh, that works. <laughs> I mean, it's a sort of an emergency thing because if the pain becomes too much, you cannot in fact, I knew already, you came here three days ago, I knew already one of those. I'm not yeah. wanting to put you down or something, but it's, one can see it. When I saw it the first time, it, it got quite wide. <laughs> because the challenge to bend down, bend, bend, mm. bend, bend, bend. He also, on the first day when he came here, I did not know him and it was very extreme, his whole body was... because you, it does it. Now it's much, much better, it's much more quiet. It is learning to bend completely, nothing, just to the soul, I am yours, I am yours, I am yours. Only an instrument, only an instrument, this is an instrument, this is an instrument, only an instrument of the truth. And the more you go into that state, and it's a state you can do anywhere, it's not that if you're at a job, if you're a doctor, Whatever profession you do, wherever you are, whichever airport you are or whichever office you are in, surrender is surrender. It's a, it's a continuous state to be in. And then gradually the, the opening, the surrender will open the entire system into a pliability and then the energy can flow and it's quiet then. And then the surrender grows, 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 grows. And that's your life now. It is, yeah. 
And can I ask just one following? I wanted to ask if how I could guide it, like guide it to different centers, because yeah, um, depending on which chakra it is, it has different qualities. Yes. So is it advisable to try to guide it at all, or is it just the ego thing? Because it's disturbed. You know, you, when you try to guide it, what I have seen with actually quite a few people who try to do that, try to imagine your mother is in the kitchen cooking and you go and you keep on torturing her, torturing her, torturing her, at one point she just leaves the kitchen and comes running after you with a, with a, with a ladle to bop you on the head. While she's running behind you and trying to bop you on that, if you tell her, no, don't go there, come here, go here, go there, then she's going to actually just go back and take a second one. Because mm. why are you telling me what to do when you are the one who has disturbed me? You know what I mean? Also, by the way, this happens a lot of the time when people come into the satsang who have a disturbed Kundalini so that they can find out this means of quieting Ma down and living with her in peace for the rest of their life because if they don't live in peace it just can go into it's the power of a million suns as I say yeah, it's, it's like it. and it's just don't try to direct her here, there and all the posture is one of samarpan, demut, hingave, surrender at all times and that means that there's a reason why you're here and most people who have this disturbed Kundalini find quite a way to deal with it over their lifetimes once they have learnt this way and it's the way for you to go now, to remember that. Trying to move her into a, into a chakra or into a layer of consciousness that you like, I would not do this because she knows what she's doing. Yeah. The surrender is what allows Ma to move and do what she has to do. You know what I mean? Because if you try to conduct it, then who is trying to conduct it? It is the, the ego that is trying to do that. Whereas Sebastian, that simple identity, you know, just Sebastian, son of... What's your mother's name? Matilde. Matilde. And where are you born? In South Germany. Where? Mildorf. Mildorf. So, Sebastian, son of Matilde from Mildorf, is your identity. And this Sebastian moves into surrender to the soul. And especially when you start to feel mm, something is really extremely painful, it's quiet, it's quiet, it's surrender, it's surrender, it's surrender. Just that. I'm only the instrument. Sebastian, only the instrument. Not I am, you are not. Not I am that, you are not that. You are here. You are this, actually. And in that state of surrender, she quiets down. And also to remember this satsang. Instantly it'll happen, instantly. That's why when you saw me, the, the mm. energy rise, because it happens to anyone who has that active Shakti, when they see me, they know already. Mm. They, they know, it's like no exception. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, even in the city of Bombay I've experienced, in the middle of the road that someone sees, they just come to me then. Because there is that ability here, it's something that this, this system is able to, to deal with, that power of Ma, you know. I know it when, you saw, when I saw your photo on the street. Even that, that I haven't heard till now, but mm. immediately it starts to... So, for you now in this life, there is just Sebastian, son of Matilde from Muldorf and that's it. Nothing more and nothing less. Also, it's a very beautiful way to live because then the ego is just not so much present and this way of surrender starts to just create joy. Like, you'll feel it instantly. 
It's like Ma is forcing you to bend. Okay, you don't want to bend? All right, now I'll make you bend. You know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> You know, because someone who doesn't have that experience, they can't understand what are they talking about. They cannot understand that, that immensity of that force, how immense it is. Like, uh, you can't control anything, nothing. You're just n not… you're no one. Yeah, exactly. And you're not even out there, you're not even that and there's no enlightenment, nothing, because you're just so much this, because it's so real. You also have pain in the lower back, is it? Is it? You hurt yourself. Okay. You try to be very present, very present, here, now, here, here, you know. The more you're here, the more you're in surrender, the more quiet Ma will be. Shakti, Kundalini Shakti. After him, you can come. Can I ask another question? Yeah, because no one has their hand up, so you can. So, for this century, what do you think <laughs> of mantra meditation, of chapa meditation? If you do mantra, meditation. It is a repetition of a, of a powerful set of syllables actually, which create energetic movements in, in the body and in the environment. So the question is, what is the aim of that mantra, japa? What, why do you do that? Because it um, evokes Kundalini energy and kind of guides it also, or kind of brings it up. And, and um, also settles down other mantras. Like the mantras are like funny tools to, if I want to settle down, I use a specific mantra if I want to bring it up, another one. Why would you want to actually impose your will on Kundalini Shakti? Do you think that you can control this force? No. I mean, no. you know, if there's a big, huge river flowing and there's a dam and you have the buttons to open a little bit here, a little bit mm -hmm. there, a little bit... But what happens if you... if you press a button and for some reason water gushes through and then bursts open that section or even the whole dam. You are someone who has that energy, Real, it's, Shakti is flowing in a... it's pushing here and there and so on. You, you feel the Kundalini Shakti because there are blockages, otherwise you won't feel it, right? So when you speak about using mantra, Japa, to raise this energy, that means you're imposing something on that energy, yes or no? Yes. Indeed. So you feel that you are qualified to do this? Mm, no, well, maybe. I experiment with it and I also have a, um, um, a right hand tantra guru where I got initiated and gave me some practice and it's very powerful. Yes. Uh, so does your guru know that if this Shakti starts to really start freaking out and is this guru able to quiet it down? First you have to find this out. Um, I'm talking I about to really quiet. That's the whole problem. Hmm. Because you get some mantras and some... This, this, <laughs> this is like... It's like playing with an atomic reactor. No, yes. And right now you just have a little bit of electricity and you know if you switch it on the, the electricity flows, if you switch it off the electricity stops. 
that much you are, but what is behind that electricity is a, is a huge reactor mm -hmm. that, is, that is producing it. And if you, if you mess with something, you can... As long as you're switching on and off, it's one thing. Mm -hmm. I just... I'm not trying to frighten you, I'm trying mm -hmm. to make you aware that th Ma is not something to try to control. This is Kundalini Shakti. Yeah, but I think Tantra is a whole tradition of dealing with it, no? This is what everybody says. How many gurus do you know in the world who can quiet Ma down once she starts... Once mm. she's... There are hundreds of thousands of people in the world today suffering from Kundalini mm. disturbance symptoms. They are not being cured by their gurus who awoke that in the first place. Why? On one hand you can count the number of the number of masters in this country who are in such a surrendered state that they can quiet Ma down when she's, when she's been disturbed and she's angry and she's just taking off. People go into, into that kind of pain and that kind of... I mean, they can't... they see bright lights with their eyes closed, they can't sleep for months, they can't... we've had so many people coming here. Their backs are arching over their... they're, they're jumping up in the air and many of them become insane. They're in mental institutions in America and Europe. So, it is not something to play around with this energy. To do a mantra, japa, in order to awaken Ma and then to... What if... Uh, do you know what you're doing? That's my question. Because if you really knew what you're doing, you wouldn't be sitting here and asking me anything. Mm when you saw a picture of mine, the, the Shakti moved, right? So there is, like, uh, I know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. saying, don't disturb Ma, leave her to do her thing. Kundalini Shakti is not something to be awakened, she is awake already. She's already awake. It's not something to go and meddle and push and poke and prod and make her... Aw she's awake. She's awake from the moment you are... Be before you are born. Mm. And the practices to awaken her, so-called, are actually practices to, to create... they are experimental practices, even today, by the greatest masters. Because you can't control this energy, nobody knows in what direction it'll go. It's always to be in surrender to Ma, not to try to control her, not to pull her up and push her down and make her do this and that and that. It's about just being in surrender, unless, for example, there is real pain in the system somewhere, maybe a... and then there's... you know, you ask her, you bend... you have to bend down. Mm -hmm. You understand? Do you understand? Because I don't want you to suffer in this life. I, I really understand. don't. It's... Mm -hmm. it can be excruciating to a level which is not possible for the human mind to comprehend. And so, mm, the way to move is to be in surrender. Ma, whatever you have to do, you do. Mm. Even if you're German and you can't imagine it's a Ma, you better do that. I can. You don't have to say Mutta line or something, but, you know, mm. or Mutta Shin, but you can just say Ma. Just whatever your will is, it's fine. So, if you do a mantra, Japa, just for a half an hour, just for the joy of the sound, that's one thing. But if you use mantra to move and do and all, without a guru there, who knows what to do if something happens? You know what I'm saying? Does it make sense to you? Because if you, if you don't agree with me, speak up now, it's your chance. No, I understand what you're saying. I think this guru knows uh, he knows what to do, but he is uh, far away. Mm -hmm. But the practice he gave me is not is not um, messing things up. I just know that this uh, mantras have different. Um, I know it from practice, but they have different um, uh, effects. Yes. Yeah. And so, if I stick to the practice he gave me, actually, there is not not a problem. Okay. Yeah. 
if you stick to the practices. Yeah. So and if I don't mix it with other things, I do. So what were you asking me then? Yeah, no, I think I'm, I'm quite clear now. Yeah, but, uh, because you said uh, what about uh, the new things and the old things from the last century. Yes. I also got the feeling that today is different age, uh, different things happening. Yeah, I was talking actually more in relation to this practices of detaching from the mm. actions of the body. Yeah. This is a different thing, mm. you know. Yeah. Kundalini Shakti is a timeless thing, it's tomorrow and day after and yeah. the year after that. Perhaps what I would say is new is that one now knows that there is no point disturbing her. So that yeah. the Shakti is there over a lifetime to actually send energy into the system every time there is trauma in the system. That is when the Shakti is there and sends that energy. So this is what is new, this knowledge is new. Because up until now Kundalini Shakti was a very mysterious thing and very, very few masters even taught how to awaken it, so-called awaken. Basically they were experimenting with disturbing that Shakti and seeing what all is possible. How does it open the chakras? How does it break through the skull in the in the Kapala Bhedana, you know about the Kapala Bhedana, you probably no. have it. It's so when the Shakti pushes through the skull, the skull actually opens up. I've seen this in many, many people. So I have seen the, the how that movement happens and also know how to quiet it down. What is new is that we don't anymore try to disturb the Shakti because we know now that the Kundalini Shakti is something which is there in everyone so that the system can handle the traumas that life may throw up. And in those moments of emotional trauma or physical trauma or conceptual trauma, people who are in the, on the borderline of going mad, this energy can go and resolve the problem and quiet the system down. But if it is pushed to start this movement and there is no surrender in the system, then those blocks happen. So in that sense, it's also something of the past to, to go and meddle with it. Yes, j chanting Japa mantra and so is beautiful and it's something which is also part of this life and to embrace. But if you are using Japa to actually impose on the Shakti, mm. your will, mm. then it's preferable not to do it.